Hello, greetings. My name is Imani Ave, and I'm a mom of two. I have a son, he's four, his name is Elias, and I have a daughter who's two. Her name is Eden. I am making this video to finally make a hair video, I guess. It's something that I wanted to do like years ago, probably a decade ago, and I was always too afraid to do it. So today, here I am. I'm natural again. I wanted to make a natural hair video back then. And I'm natural again probably for the fourth time. I probably did four or five big chops, um, relaxed in between, bleach dyed. And I've been showing my hair a little bit on the channel. But um, anyway, let me do this. I'm just refreshing my afro. I've been laying on it. It doesn't look too bad, but it is dry. And I do need to get my son. So I'm just going to start with shea butter because you know I love the shea butter and put it on my edges I should have shown you my edges maybe in the back you can kind of see like light spots or white spots dry spots I don't know if it's showing and that is um what are they? How is it said? Seboric dermatitis or whatever. I've been to the dermatologist. Uh, they prescribed me something that was like acid and it burnt my scalp and don't get it on your eyes or your face or whatever. I also have acne issues too. So I don't, I don't want to use what the dermatologists are prescribing. And I'm also not a big fan. Um of the medicine world so that's another thing if you have any if you know what uh, seboric dermatitis is if you have any suggestions if you experience it let me know it really acts up in the springtime like every spring i deal with this and my edges will be so white and my scalp is always so flaky i've always been <laughs> the girl with the most flakes um my hair is so nice but look you can even see even after freshly washed it'll be like just if it's freshly washed, it'll be even more white. Now imagine having that dry, flaky scalp and then relaxing that, or bleaching it, or dyeing it. And those are the things that I did, so that didn't help. All right, so then I have my water bottle, and all it really is is just oil and conditioner. And I love this because I like to use product, like the shea butter is all over products as in like my face my hands my body my scalp and it's adult and child friendly so i just love that and i save money so i'm about that too shiggy, 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 shiggy. i remember at one time my brother was and i'm just gonna it was water in here water oil and conditioner the conditioner really i mean I guess it'll do something, but it's for the smell, so that it can smell like a little something. And I'm going to spray all over my head. Oh, I was saying, I remember when my brother, I don't know, 16, 17 years old, and I must have been like 26, 27, I visited my brother and my mom and he had a fro at the time he's been through fro's locks bald all types of things he experiments with but so yeah he had a fro at this time and you can't even see the water that's how dry my hair is I'm just gonna keep doing that and i want to get up here too since we know it's dry we know um Anyway, back to the story. So my brother had a concoction in a bottle, but I didn't know it was a concoction. I didn't know my mom had made him a special concoction of whatever moisturizer and oil and water and whatever else. So he was in the bathroom spraying his hand. I don't, I don't know what possessed me, but I needed to use a spray bottle because I was natural. And I asked him, hey, can I use that um, spray bottle? He said, yeah, sure. So he was in the bathroom. He came out the bathroom. I went in and I dumped out everything that was in the bottle. And I watched it go down the drain. And I was like, why is it that color? I thought it was just water. And then I really make sure I rinsed it out. Do you know, like minutes later, my brother was like, what did you do? I said, I poured it out. I didn't know what that was. He was like, why would you do that? <laughs> it was a special concoction my mother made him. Anyway, this is all that I do. 
And of course, make sure there's no lint in my hair. I remember when I first went natural and it was like, I don't want to say it wasn't a thing because the natural hair is always a thing, but it wasn't as popular. It was probably, I don't know, 2011, 2012. And I would just keep straightening it. Like I didn't want anyone to really know that I was not um, using cream crack. I don't know where my, <laughs> I don't know where my pick is right now, but if I had that, these long fingers are going to be used as my pick. So I pretty much know how I like it fluffed out and I want to get the back fluffed out because I was laying on that area and this top area isn't really flat. It's the back that's flat. So I'm going to pull on it. And I didn't use so much water. I wasn't trying to use water and conditioner so I can put my hands through it. I was just trying to use it so that the hair isn't as dry. Um, again, the little lints. Also, I have to go get my son from school, so this isn't going to be long. I'm feeling like Foxy Cleopatra, and I'm a whole lot of woman. I mean, my fro's not that big yet. So I'm documenting my journal journey. Oh, six minutes. Okay, I took enough of your time. Hope this video was helpful. I know every time I have worn my fro, even now or back then, People always ask me what I use. It's just water, baby. Water, shea butter. But other than that, yes, I'll use conditioner and some type of oil. Isn't it funny how we grow up and our moms tell us, don't let your hair get wet in the rain. And now when it rains, I, I just love when it rains now because I'm outside in the rain. Like, I'm no longer that person afraid of the rain. Okay, it's raining, so what? All right. I'm going to use the mirror. Hold on. All right, that's it. Eight minutes of your time. I did notice a piece in the back, but I don't want to keep messing with it. Like I said, I don't have my Afro pick, but my hands did the trick. Until next time. Later days. That didn't work.